What is going on guys? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today we're going to talk about exactly what you see on the screen and that is the Biden administration is to release an executive order on crypto as early as February 2022. Now remember I always like to preface by saying that I am not a financial advisor like it says to next to me here but I always try to put you guys on the plays that I'm in. So what we need to do is make sure we are prepared for what is to come within the crypto market. We understand that the markets have been in shambles. All the markets across, people are taking a risk off approach, moving their money and assets outside of speculative things, stocks and crypto alike, because of the uncertainty in front of us. We don't know what the Federal Reserve are getting ready to do. Are they gonna increase interest rates? Are people going to have to give back the leverage that they took out, the loans that they took out? to trade with, right? A lot of the times that people, what might, what some investors might not understand or retail investors, including myself, is I personally never trade on leverage. I never take money that isn't mine to put into the markets because I think that's too risky. Not every trader thinks that way. So what happens in turn, whenever interest rates are low, we see more people taking lower loans out to purchase different assets, whether that's house, um, houses or real estate, or if it's cryptocurrencies or stocks. Right, so that's people trading on leverage, because again, that's how the markets work. And so, in turn, if the Feds decide to start bringing the interest rates back up, what's going to happen to combat inflation? That's going to create, of course, a lot of fear and uncertainty in some of the markets, and it's going to create that selling pressure for for traders who have made money with leverage to give their leverage back or to give their loans back that they took out. So let's go ahead and talk about specifically on what you see on the screen. Let's go ahead and t look at what the Biden administration might be doing in the coming weeks as early as the first week of February 2022, which is only in about a week. The Biden administration is re um, writing an executive order for release as early as next month that will outline a comprehensive government strategy on cryptocurrencies and ask federal agencies or the feds to determine their risk and opportunities. Bloomberg reported on Friday, citing unnamed sources. So the directive would place the White House in a central lo central role, excuse me, um, central role overseeing efforts to set policies and regulate digital assets. Bloomberg reported federal agencies have already been studying or providing regulatory guidance around the digital asset sector for years. You guys know we all were pretty much not live, but as soon as the initial hearing happened on Congress where we had some of the most knowledgeable individuals, Coinbase executives, we had people who were the pre or the individual who was the previous Binance US CEO or Chief Operating Officer, COO. We had them speaking on behalf of crypto and on behalf of crypto trading and why we do need some regulation. We do need some to see success in this landscape. The Office of the Controller um, of the Currency or the OCC Securities and Exchange Commissions or the SEC and Commodity Futures Trading Commission has issued guidance letters, informal statements and public rulemaking efforts to direct how different aspects of the crypto industry should comply with federal law. But these efforts have not shown coordinated, um, coordinated in a single document or by one agency. So the Biden administration senior officials have met multiple times to discuss the directive which will be presented to the president in the next few weeks, according to Bloomberg. Remember, folks, this is not something we should be afraid of. We need some sort of regulation because crypto currently is all over the place. We're seeing things like rug pulls. We're seeing things that are just happening within the crypto sphere that are always beyond our measures. Even if we do our due diligence, even if we do vetting for certain assets, we see things time and time again that come up. So again, right now, what's going to happen is basically... The ball is in the Fed's hand. What we need to hear from them is what are they going to do with the interest rates? What are they going to do to combat inflation, right? A lot of people put money into these markets thinking that, hey, maybe that because of what the pandemic has done to our economy, we're going to continue to see interest rates, interest rates continue to lower. But that's not the case. So we need to be prepared for what is to come in the markets. With that being said, as long as there's some positivity coming from the Biden administration, Right? regarding cryptocurrencies and some regulatory aspect that we are in dire need of, then we will see where, what this positions us for the short-term and long-term future of crypto. I'm very bullish on the crypto space, but we need to hear some positive news, especially during these trying times. The markets are all in shambles, but crypto, because again, it's as an umbrella, 
term. Cryptocurrencies are extremely speculative. So what occurs? What happens? For those of you invested in Dogecoin and Chip, for example, or other meme tokens, those are the ones that get hit the hardest because they are the most speculative. And you go up from there. Bitcoin, Ethereum, a little less speculative. Tech stocks, a little less speculative, but all under that speculative range. What then in turn occurs is we see sell-offs. And of course, the ones that are hit the hardest are always at the bottom of the pyramid for in terms of speculation. So be prepared, not surprised. I'm still really, really bullish, as I've said time and time again, and I'm excited to see where the future comes. But this is, again, where scared money does not make money. The real money is made during market corrections. So we have to be prepared for what is to come. Get your buying power ready. I have mine set aside, awaiting to see some kind of reversal or some sort of positive sentiments or news that will get us back to the parabolic price action that we were seeing previously. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And until next time, everybody, keep investing. Peace.